Hey guys, what is up? So, The Flash, Season 4, Episode 20, Therefore She Is, trailer, uh, is out. It's been out for a couple of days. I'm a bit late to this, but I still wanted to get it out, uh, give you my reaction and breakdown. I'm very excited for this because, you know, Therefore She Is hints a few things for me. Um, obviously, if you're new to these videos, I actually don't, I haven't seen the trailer. I do watch it uh, along with you guys and then give my post-immediate thoughts. That's why I speculate in kind of the beginning of the videos. But we also read out the synopsis, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now because it also gives us a little bit more of a clue uh, into what is going on in this episode. So, uh, the, the, the synopsis for episode, episode 20 is as follows, everybody. Barry and Team Flash team up with Gypsy to try and thwart the Thinker's plan. Meanwhile, Cisco and Gypsy have a heart-to-heart -heart about their relationship. Okay, so uh, Cisco and... Gypsy, I mean, it says heart to heart. Does this mean they're on a little bit of a rocky road? Does it mean that maybe they don't see each other enough, uh, you know, to, to kind of maintain a relationship? Or is Cisco going to join and take Breach's place, which means they can spend more time with each other, blah, blah. I don't know. I feel like maybe a little, of that, little bit of that is going on this episode. But therefore, she is. That is what I'm more intrigued about because, you know, we've had therefore I am, I believe, in the past. But anyway, guys, uh, obviously, if you're new to this channel, why not subscribe for more flash breakdowns like this? And uh, why not give this video a like if you're enjoying it already, or if at least maybe if you continue to enjoy the video. But let's get on with the trailer, guys. You've located everything we need. He's got to be building something. He's taking whatever he wants, killing anybody that gets in the way. He's stealing pieces of tech for God knows why. Oh, wow. Well. We have to figure oh, out what well. he's building right now. We can lead them on the true path. Clifford, the plan is to save them. We can't save everyone, my love. Uh, the Flash, only this Tuesday at 8, 7 central. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Look. First thing I have to say, before I dig in deep and have a look at a couple of things, why can't they maintain this kind of vibe throughout, no pun intended, throughout the whole season? Seriously, I know... I know it's impossible to, like, keep that kind of drama on every episode, and I say that all the time, too. But just kind of, at least, like, episode 19, you know? Episode 18 was, you know, as I said, you can't maintain what seems to be going on in this episode. That seriousness, that action, it's just unrealistic. But last episode was, like, what I said, an example of a typical episode of previous seasons, and I was perfectly happy with that. But what was with, with the other episodes, Flash? Like, keep this, keep this up. It looks great, man. Ugh. Uh, it looks, it looks, it just looks fantastic. Devoe seems to be, as I said, becoming more, less human the more he, his brain evolves. Uh, but we got quite a few teases that I spotted in there that I, I'm going to have to take another look at before I, before I actually talk about it. So amongst this episode being the episode where Clifford's plans for the Age of Enlightenment, like, really start to come together because, you know, we hear Molly say, you know, we have all the pieces we need or everything we need. Uh, we hear Barry say he's stealing all kinds of pieces of tech for God knows why. Uh, it just looks like things are coming together for him. But the other half of the trailer, I feel, is Marley's learning things. Learning things more that is, you know, we've seen from previous episodes. The seeds were kind of planted fairly early. Uh, even though it should have started earlier, but the, due to the Weeper's tears and Clifford kind of... Uh, kind of catching on to what Marlies is going through with wanting to escape, you know, writing all these things down and, and clo cl disguising them as recipes. Um, but now, obviously, Clifford DeVoe in, in the last episode didn't uh, give her the Weeper's Tears and Marlies is finally kind of starting to catch on with this isn't the man I married, this isn't the man I loved. And, you know, in the last episode, right at the end, that is when it was very heavily foreshadowed that she might turn against him, or at least that's what a lot of us are hypothesizing. And this is why I think this episode is, is kind of called uh, Therefore She Is. And I, I I think that journal and who is looking at that journal is actually Marlies. I, I, I can imagine some people are thinking that it's Iris West or it's the Mystery Girls Journal. Um, I think the Mystery Girls Journal would just have speed force symbols in it. Now, I, I honestly haven't checked out anyone else's videos, anyone else's breakdowns or anything like that. But I can just imagine people saying that. But honestly, I think this is one of Clifford DeVoe's old journals um, with him thinking about what he can do with the thinking cap. And this is before the particle accelerator um, explosion. So this is him trying to think of how he can boost his intelligence. Uh, and this was the very beginnings of the cap when he was just a man really trying to help humanity. And I suspect that maybe, you know, in his ramblings in his journal, when he was kind of normal, he was saying what areas of the brain it can affect and bloody blah, blah, blah. Marlies might be going back to look at these journals to try and better understand as to why her husband is calling, you know, emotions, you know, trivial, like human trivial emotions. And, you know, uh, no time for any, any husband and wife time, basically, between those two. Uh, 
Uh, I think she's still trying to cling on to him a little bit, which is why we see her in this episode still with him. But I think by the end of this episode, Marley's will have to pull the plug. And as I just mentioned, this shot, which I believe is Marley's, the mechanic or, you know, the technician, whatever you, whatever have you, is her kind of realizing that these are the parts of his brain that is actually kind of going. But then again, guys, if I am wrong and this is Iris, it could be somehow that she has got a hold of his journal and this is a way they think, you know, they can understand of bringing his brain down. But as I said, I think that's Marley's. I'm pretty sure that is Marley's. Now, I think, uh, for to put it bluntly, shit is getting real for Team Flash because Barry's like, we need to find out, figure out what he's building right now uh, because I think it's dawned upon them he is up to something. He's been stealing parts. That's going to be a big part of this episode. They realize what, what all these parts he's stealing. Oh my God, what could he be up to? He is insane right now with all these metahuman powers, his intelligence. What, oh uh, God, we need to figure out what he's building. And this is when we get a shot of all the parts coming together for Clifford's, um, you know, I don't know. It looks like some kind of beacony device that will kind of shoot out something. I think at the moment, I think it's just designed to like spray something out, which will uh, affect all of humanity um, or like everyone on the world, or at least within a large radius of, I don't know, at least America, you would have thought. Uh, but I predict the world because it is all about correcting the misguided course of humanity for DeVoe. So, yeah, I try to look at these images a bit closer, but I can't really see any clues or anything. Uh, it's just, you know, cool to see the construct that he's making or the mechanic is making. We also see a horrified looking Molly is looking down at a freaking mind warped husband. And, and this is what I mean. Therefore, she is she, she's realizing everything in this episode. Uh, and he's like, we can keep them on the true path. Uh, basically, Clifford... You have to give it to him. I, I, this is why I really identify with this feeling. I really like him. Uh, he he started off good. Started off wanting to help humanity. And this is what I'll get to later. Because Marley says, Clifford, we're meant to help them, remember? He has lost his way. With all of this, he is becoming more machine than man. To put it in a very Star Wars way. Um, and yeah, as I said, this is going to be the essential ingredient. Because yeah, she's, she's done a lot of bad things technically on behalf of her husband. For, but she... I think is going to take it all back, realizing what the heck this guy's turning into. Not the not the vision that they started off, or like at least what he promised uh, at the beginning. He he really has lost his way. Now towards the end of this trailer, it really does look like Team Flash have entered that place or the control kind of room where whatever is going down with the Thinker's construct is you know being built or happening or where it's taking place. It looks like Vibe and Cisco. What am I on about? Vibe and Gypsy are getting blasted by one of uh, the Thinker's powers. And amongst all of this ordeal at the end of the, the trailer, we see Gypsy try and use her powers, I'm sure, against Clifford. We see Barry use his speed, but we see Barry, you know, get uh, knocked across the room, uh, weighing a ton of bricks again, just like what happened when he tried to save Ralph. He couldn't move because he literally weighed so much or something like that. So trying to lift your arm up would probably break it if you tried hard enough. And then we even hear Marley say, your plan is to save them. And she's holding her hand like that. So she maybe she's got like a broken rest or something like that now i've got a theory that maybe clifford actually does that to her maybe you know the reason why she's saying your plan is to save them she doesn't want gypsy to die she doesn't want all this to happen maybe um because not uh, maybe she would normally but because she's realizing how warped her husband is she realizes this isn't right not even for team flash so i think she doesn't agree with how dark clifford is potentially getting towards the end of this episode uh with this final well not this final but this confrontation from team flash to clifford's little lair new lair going on here um so i could i wouldn't be surprised if the more machine man aspect to clifford now even you know she, he swipes her aside uh and that's how she breaks her arm and then she gets up and she's it's just like you know my, you know clifford you, you're in to save them this isn't the original plan do you know what i mean that kind of vibe i could be wrong but you know that would be pretty cool i think if you know he actually the last thing that the, the straw that breaks the camel's back for malik is being bitch slapped by Clifford through the force. Well, you know what I mean. His messy human powers. Now that's when Clifford replies, we can't say it. Everyone, my love. And we see Gypsy getting force choked like Darth Vader. A lot of Star Wars puns and, you know, jokes in this uh, breakdown. Um, and this is what I mean. Another another thing uh, where it's just like very hypocritical. Um, he, he's taking joy in force choking Gypsy and it's kind of going against the core man. You know, the core Clifford, who was a professor who, who really wanted to help humanity, who built this thinking cap, wasn't a murderer. He, he just wasn't. He didn't start out that way. But, you know, the, the more machine the man he's got, the more or less emotional we've got, and the more people are just getting his way and he's killing, doing whatever, whatever. As I said, all of this is just straws and straws and straws that will eventually break the camel's back. That is Marley's. 
it's kind of easy to predict, I feel. Um, it would be even cooler. Well, technically, I was about to say it would be even cooler if my Lees was getting choked, but it is Gypsy. Now, I predict, could Gypsy be dying? It would be cool. I would don't want Gypsy to die, but I have to admit, it would be effective. It would bring a lot more, like, emotion into this season. And, and it's been getting that a little bit recently, but maybe she should. I don't think she will because of Ralph, you know, his death. Maybe that was their season death. But if they double slammed us with Gypsy as well... I think it's a necessary thing. I think maybe it should happen. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys think about that. And then we hear Barry just say DeVoe again, kind of like on the floor with Ralph. Uh, and and I kind of, what I like about that moment is, even though it's a copy of, you know, episode 18, I feel like Barry's trying to appeal to him. He's like, DeVoe, come on, dude. Like, you're, <laughs> you're evil and everything because of the, you know, uh, the, the, the intelligence, more machine than man aspect. But dude, like, look at yourself. Take a good hard look. And I don't think that's going to work. But, you know, like, you have to give it to Barry. He's, like, trying. Like, he's, he, he can't move, but he's like, Devo, please. Like, your wife is talking to you, like, saying this is wrong. Do you know what I mean, guys? But that is the trailer. I am super, 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 super hyped to this episode. Because you know my feelings if you've been keeping up with every Flash video I've done. Not really enjoyed the season too much. I love the Flash. I'm a fanboy. I'm a, I love Grant Gustin's Flash. I love Cisco. I know a lot of people have problems, different problems. But the tone has just been the problem for me. But they have had four episodes this season where they, they have really brought it back. That is episode 7, episode 15, episode 18, and last episode 19. It's going to be another fifth episode, I think, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a shame that it really has felt like a tug of... Not a tug of war. I don't know what to say. Like a freaking boomerang. You know, you throw it and then it comes back. Uh, they try to, it feels like they're, they're like, throw it, oh yeah, like happy go lucky tone, and then it comes back to serious, like, yes, 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 and then it's throw it again, and it'll go off, like, for four, five, six, you know, episodes, and then it comes back to episode seven, and we got it back, but do you know what I mean? They should have just freaking, I don't know, I don't know what other analogies I can think of, but something that would have kept, uh, a more or less continuous kind of vibe, but I'm glad stuff is getting real, guys. Let me know what you thought of this trailer in the comment section down below. Do you have any theories? Do you agree with anything I said? Do you have any expanding thoughts on whatever I said? Honestly, guys, let me know in the comments below. I do read all of them. I may not get back to every single one of them, but trust me, I read every, every, every last comment. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this video and this trailer breakdown, why not like it? Because it really does show support for the channel. And, and if you like this video and you want to see more Flash content from me, I'm your guy. I will be doing more Flash content. So why not subscribe for more videos like this? Um, I want to say thank you to each and every one of my patrons. They are popping up on the screen around here. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much, guys. And and if you're curious, you behind the camera there, uh, or the screen, should I say, um, in, in what my Patreon page is like, or what even is Patreon, uh, it's at the top of my description, the link. So check it out. Maybe you, you will like some of the tiers like all of these guys did. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for checking out regardless. Other than that, guys, I do have a Discord server. Join that. Link's in the description. We talk about everything nerdy there. And apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a freaking lovely flash doodle rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.